Hi everyone and welcome into my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in if you're new here. My name is Bloom and welcome to Blooming Woman. For all my returning subscribers, welcome back into another video. Today's video is going to be about the deer spirit animal and what it means when you see this animal inside of your life. When you feel like this animal is trying to tell you something, when you feel like it has some type of significance and it may be a synchronicity even with the things that are occurring inside of your life, what does it mean? What is the animal actually trying to tell you? I'm also going to be explaining how you can actually interpretate this animal for your own self and use your own intuition to understand what this animal is specifically trying to tell you on a personal, personal level. So let's go ahead and see what we can learn about the deer spirit animal. All right, everyone, so I'm back with this video. I know I haven't posted a video in like a week, but I needed to take a break from talking. Sometimes talking actually gets in the way of me and finding a safe place when I'm trying to meditate or when I'm trying to withdraw my intention inward. It makes it hard when I'm just talking all the time. And last week, the cut last couple of weeks ago, I did so many videos back to back. So I had to take a short break, but I'm back with more videos for you guys, of course. So the deer, what is the deer trying to tell you inside of your life? Now, I actually have a lot of experience when it comes to the deer animal, but I saved this one for just the perfect timing where I felt like I could understand completely what the deer animal is trying to tell me. There was a missing piece. Everywhere I researched when I first started to have experiences with animal totems, everywhere I researched and it's had information about the deer, it was always talking about being kind, opening up your heart, and really focusing on spreading love and kindness, which made sense. But there was a missing piece to that puzzle. And what the missing piece is, is about determination. So when you see this animal, the deer, come inside of your life, it, it's definitely an animal that's telling you to be determined. It's an animal that's telling you to be responsible, and it's an animal that is actually telling you to live up to your duties, okay? So what is your duty? What is your position? What is it that you are meant to do? Your position in a certain area of your life. Now, this isn't to get confused with your, your life purpose. The deer animal is not something that's gonna come through to tell you that you need to focus on your life purpose or you're about to go through your life purpose. It's an animal that's coming to tell you that you need to figure out what your position is and what your duty is. It could be related to relationship. It could be related to a goal that you've set for yourself. It could be related to your work. What is your position as a girlfriend, as a boyfriend, as a husband, as a wife, as a person that's trying to be be a goal as a person that's trying to be a certain career or a certain thing very earthly and very inside of this material world and inside of this physical realm okay what is it that your duty is whatever it is that you're trying to achieve or whatever it is that your role is it's about accepting that role taking the initiative and being responsible and most importantly it's about being determined in fulfilling those duties that come with your role. So it's kind of like every time you see a deer, they have those characteristics of actually being very determined. Even if you see a deer running on the side of the road and it looks lost, if you look at its face, you can see the gentle and kindness within it, but there's also that spark within it that really speaks of determination this animal has determination. Even when it's lost and it's running around, it's determined and you can feel that presence of a determination. It even has a authoritative presence about it. When you encounter a deer, it's soft and it's kind, 
but you can feel its defense and you can also feel its determination and its responsibility and maturity when it comes to the deer animal. It's also about being mature and it's just really about being able to live the position that you're supposed to live in or to really fulfill your duties the way that you're supposed to fulfill it. So this animal is really all about that. When you see this animal inside of your life, it can come through to tell you that you need to do more of this or that you need to identify this or that you're going through an experience in life where you could already be experiencing these things and already be very determined in what it is that you're determined in, whatever area of life it is, whatever subject it is, whatever thing it is that you're doing, that you're feeling mature and responsible and you're taking accountability for your actions and you're doing the duties that you're supposed to be doing, whatever that is for you, if you see the deer, it could be telling you that you're actually experiencing that. And that's why it's being projected and reflecting out inside of your physical realm. So another thing about the deer is definitely the fact that it does have a gentle side to it as well. The deer has a kind heart, has an open heart, and it very well is connection to your heart chakra, your heart center, your heart area, whatever it is that you want to call it. That ability to have passion, that ability to have love, that ability to actually have an attachment because our heart and our heart chakra and our heart everything about the heart center has to deal with your attachment your desires and what it is that you are really just attached to that you don't want to let go of now something that's really beautiful that happens even spiritually is the concept of love and devotion so once you feel love for something once you feel some type of attachment towards something, whether it's pleasure or whether it's actual just genuine love, when you feel an attachment, a passion or love for something, you automatically have a determination with it. Sorry guys, let me turn that off. All right, so when you feel love and passion for something, you automatically have a determination for that thing and there's automatically something that's going to push you to be devoted, to be determined, to do whatever it is that you need to do to get to that goal or to do whatever it is that you need to do to fulfill that role. But the deer animal speaks of being determined and being devoted and being responsible and mature in what it is that you're doing or whatever it is it's pointing towards in your life, as well as making sure that when you're doing this determination and when you're doing this devotion that you're not doing it in an aggressive manner that you're doing it from a place of love that you're doing it from a place of passion and that you're really doing it from a place of care nourishment and even kindness okay when you see this deer and you see the deer with its family it's really walking and you can see that each person each deer has its own role and they seem very mature and they seem very, um, especially the adult deer, they seem very mature and they seem very responsible in making sure that they're completely doing their work from start to finish, completely fulfilling their duties and their role as a mother deer or a father deer or as um, whatever comes with what it is that they're supposed to be doing. They completely fulfill it and they're, de they're very extremely determined to fulfill that role. And you'll see the younger deers have that softness towards them as well and that sense of innocence and that sense of love. You can feel the love fuming off of a deer. That's why deers are very majestic when you see them. It can be a time when you see a deer and you feel like it's just very majestic and there's something really high vibration about that deer and that has to do with the amount of love that they carry within them so this is definitely going to be something that's coming into your life to tell you to fulfill your duties do your work but make sure that you do it with kindness make sure you do it for the right reasons make sure you're doing it and you're being accountable for your actions you're responsible and that you're fulfilling your duty all the way through it's not about 
half assing your work, it's about actually making sure that you complete it responsibly, that you are um, very mature, that you are focused on making sure that you are on time, making sure that you're getting things done the way it's supposed to get done, making sure that you're doing everything the way that is best to do. So this deer comes into your life not to speak of procrastination, it's not to speak of laziness, it's not to speak of any of those things. It's actually not even trying to tell you to be a perfectionist either, but it is trying to tell you to do the opposite of lazy and procrastinate. It's trying to tell you to be more responsible in what it is that you do and make sure that you do it with grace and kindness, just like the deer carries itself, okay? So when it comes to actually interpreting this animal and what it means for you inside of your life, it really comes down to your experience. And I also wanna bring up the fact that when I talk about my, my animal um, totems and animal, spirit animals, whatever you wanna call it, inside of my channel, it's really important to understand that if you're having a dream about this animal and you're seeing it in your, your awaking reality, your physical reality, these actually have two different meanings. There's a few animals that will mean the same thing in a dream that it will mean inside of your, the physical realm. However, for the most part, a large amount of the animals have a different meaning in dreams than they do inside of this physical realm. Another thing about that is that when you're dreaming of a deer, you're in the dream realm, okay? You're in a different reality. It's reality in that moment because you have lost awareness to the physical realm. You've lost awareness to your body. You're inside of a whole different realm. So you're inside of the dream realm and laws work differently there. You can fly, you can time travel, you can snap your fingers, time works differently. Snap your fingers and you're in a different location. You know, all these things. But because of that, because of the fact that laws are different inside of the dream world. It comes down to the imagination and your imagination, your imaginary eye, okay? And being able to see with your inner eye and your inner sensory system. So that also relates to the astral realm. But when it comes to this, all kinds of things could happen. You could dream of the most insane thing with a deer and it just wouldn't apply. It would be too complex. It would be too specific. And in other words, this video cannot generalize what your specific situation is for when you saw the dream of a deer because it has two completely different meanings from a dream. When you dream of a deer, it means success. Most of the time, it definitely means success. But because there's so much that could happen in a dream, there's so many wild, crazy things that our mind can imagine and dream of that it could mean no success depending on how you see that deer or depending on how that dream went. It could determine that you actually won't be successful if the deer maybe died or got shot or you killed the deer. It goes so deep. And seeing the deer inside of your waking life as well, this video is a general meaning, but I can't say that it applies to every single situation. For the most part, in your physical realm, being determined and acting out your role with kindness is going to apply for most people. Now, understanding more on a personal level, if you feel like your experience was a little bit more complex, if you feel like you didn't just see a deer, but you saw like a dead deer at your doorstep in this physical realm, like you really saw that. Um, if you felt like you saw something crazy or you saw something with a deer that was very strange and abnormal, then it will come down to understanding three different things. What was it that you were thinking of the moment that you saw the deer? When you saw the deer, did you see, I mean, did you think of, um, of your work? Were you thinking about something specific? Whatever it is that you're thinking about the moments before you saw the deer and the moment that you saw the deer is going to further help you and guide you towards what it is that the deer is trying to point out towards your life that needs to be more determined 
or that you need to be filling your role more of or that you need to be more mature of. It also comes down to understanding what type of emotions that you had. What were you feeling the moments that you saw the deer? Were you feeling scared? Were you feeling anxious? Were you feeling determined? Were you feeling a bunch of love? Were you feeling like anything? What were you feeling? And I'm not talking about anxiety. I'm not trying to get that mixed up. I'm talking about your gut feeling, your instinct. What was the emotion that you were feeling when you saw the deer? That is also going to help you interpret what area of your life that this deer is pointing towards, or specifically, what does it mean for you that you need to be more mature, or you need to be more determined, or you need to be more kind towards inside of your life. And then lastly, it's about really understanding the experience that you had the moment that you saw the deer. There could have been some synchronicities that were occurring. You could have saw the deer and then at the same time saw an angel number, or saw a repeating number, or maybe heard a song, lyrics inside of a song that answered the question that you were seeking within, within yourself. So it comes to really dissecting all of that. And other than that, Another thing that you can do is simply just experience it. Just experience it, surrender to the process, and observe. And when time comes, your intuition will speak to you if you're seeking the answers inside, okay? So I really hope this video could help you. I hope that you could learn something from this video, take something from this video, and of course, make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my spiritual guidance videos. I will put a link over here so that you can see all my other spirit animals that I've done a whole playlist on spirit animals and I'll even clip it at the end for you guys so you can click straight through to that playlist and see any animals that you may have experienced and have questions about. Also make sure that you hit the like button of course if you're liking this video right now make sure that you hit the like button so you can help support my channel. And if you want to support my channel and my small business even more you can go into my website. That information is inside of my description box as well as all my social media. Through my website, you'll actually be able to purchase my merchandise, my handmade crystal pendants that I made by myself and charged it with Reiki and Moonlight Energy, okay? And you can also book a personal intuitive psychic reading with me through my website down below, all right? So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. And I'll see you all inside of the next video. Bye-bye.